starting to pay more attention to how the actual log looks at this stage on the inside especially because this log will be you know at this height where I'm sitting in front of the fire so I want to make sure that I've got a nice smooth surface or fairly smooth surface up there because you'll be up maybe brushing against it if the chair is close and it's just somewhere I'm going to look at forever <laughs> if I'm sitting there and looking at a mistake or looking at a you know, I don't know a fractured knot or something like that will drive me crazy so I'm trying to be as careful as I can now at this stage like some of them like right here doesn't matter so much because I'll have some kind of stone hearth or something here for the fireplace over there down low I've got you know kitchen cu cupboards ca cabinets over there up to bench height it's um, not so critical but if I'm leaning up against the wall sitting at the kitchen table then those wall or those logs need to be very good smooth and uh, attractive so I'm trying to get this thing kind of trimmed down a little bit as much as I can and then I um, drop it in place this is just the rough notch drop it in place and then spend like you know, some extra time getting this one set nice and tight now everybody welcome back to the cabin I had some questions on this um, procedure for using the scribe and uh, you know I've hesitated just you know to focus on this or show this because how many people are actually going to build a cabin after watching me do it probably I don't know maybe 10 out of the hundreds of thousands of people that people that watch the video so it's not a high priority to explain how to use a tool to actually build a log cabin but it's kind of interesting and a lot of people that are asking are just interested in how it functions not because they want to use it just because it's, they're curious so I'll show you how I set this up and why now I do have two scribes I have the one that I um, just got this year for this project or last year for this project and um, it worked for some things but not great for a lot of the scribes here and I'll show you why um, but it really comes down to these this angle right here the other scribe is straight and I'm finding that especially in these weather conditions I don't have smooth uh, clean logs that scribe really easily so when you have a marker that's sticking straight out and, and I'll show you the angle the marker is like just skimming the surface not pointed at the surface it doesn't leave a mark now this on an angle like this does and I'll describe this log here and I'll show you but um, I need six inches I need to lower this log by six inches from where it's sitting right now up on the other log so in order to do that I'm going to set the spread of this to six inches and that's just point to point and it doesn't really matter too much um, whether whether this and this are the same length because I, I'm going to fix it on the on the board when I level it out and I'll show you that in a minute so what do I have here so I'll go to two to seven and a half No, one of those six, I said, right? So, two to eight. Now, what I don't like is that with a pencil, the pencil breaks are get shorter as I move across this log. I have to get this measurement. To sharpen the pencil, then redo this measurement here. Okay. Okay, so I had to, so I set it to six inches spread. There's two levels here. One that levels this way and one that levels this way they have to both be level um, to start with what basically what it's doing is leveling these two points right so either this way or this way so this board here when I put it on I use the level to square that up or to plumb this straight up and down and then I drew a level or a plumb line on there as well so it's plumb this way as well as this way so what I do is just put the two points on here and 
that's that's good for a left right actually which is typical because these two arms stay in the same plane so I just have to move this down slightly it's hard to move it slightly that's what I don't like about this one prefer the single single bubble level on the other one but even this if they fix the, if they had some kind of um, some kind of uh, calibrated uh, nut here. You can make fine adjustments, but all you can do is loosen it and then tighten it. So very hard to get it. So that's on right there. Show you. Okay, I'll show you why it matters. So, essentially, the one level, this back level that is getting this right, um, is making sure that this point is lined up with this point. So, in other words, this line that gets scribed here is going to match exactly where this is touching on this log. So, if it's there, sweep it, the sweep of that log then it's transferring this shape onto there because of that level now this bubble right here what that does is keeps me level up and down so that whatever contours are here are being transcribed onto the log directly above that bump so let's say I had that completely at a level and I marked it like this what would happen is this high point would be over here instead of directly above the high point. That makes sense. So, like that, that would be the high high point of that log, and then it would start coming down. Whereas if it's level, it's putting the high point mark on this log exactly above the high point on this log. So it's critical to, as, you, as I'm scribing, to keep these two bubbles completely level and every little every time I, um, I get out of those level marks out of the whenever the bubbles aren't square or uh, centered I'm gonna end up with a, some, a scribe or and then a notch that doesn't fit perfectly tight on here I mean I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to getting absolutely perfect perfectly tight scribes because I am filling it with moss and probably some kind of um, filler after or some kind of heat uh, sort of a chinking probably a, a small bead of chinking just to keep critters out the other thing I didn't really couldn't wrap my head around until I started doing it was how do you figure out where this goes on the bottom log but what happens is when you keep that level there's only one place it can go on the top and the bottom so if I put that at a level I could go all the way down there or up there or whatever but when these two bubbles are level it's keeping this point and this point directly above and below one another so what then ha happens is this scribe ends up sitting down ex exactly, once you cut out all that stuff out, sits down exactly wherever this is being dragged across here. So it's pretty pretty amazing. So much easier than if you were doing this just with a, a kind of a measure of some sort like you would have in the past. And it's really critical when you get this, see the big bulge right here, which is nice. I like the character of that. And uh, this bulge will get transferred to this so that this will have sort of a sweep out of it that sits down tight over that. So that's the benefit of doing a full scribe system like this, full scribe kind of thing. But again, it's where it's critical to have this completely level so that 
not, what I notch out is directly above the, the bulge. You'll probably notice that this got a huge groove taken out of it. And the reason for that is that I took a measurement on all four corners and this corner is about five, four to five inches higher than the rest of the corners. That's even accounting for the taper of the logs. So I'm basically back to fairly close to level because, you know, big, small, big, small, big, small. And uh, there's some, I want some taper, but not uh, five or six inches of taper. So I need to, I need to take this down, sink this further into this log all the way across the front here on an even taper. So less at that end, but more at this end. So that'll get this end more in line with the far corner. Then I'll end up um, staying fairly level because I'm at the, uh, the next log essentially, or cut into this log will be the windows at that, this level on the back too. So I need, I would like to have these ones fairly relatively level so that I can cut the windows out say here and then start uh, putting shorter logs going up until I get to the one that'll be a sort of cut into it, but uh, sort of a header across the full length across the cabin, which would be at, above the door and the window. So like I said, I want to get this level fairly level, this course. Fairly level.